Yeah, I got a special guest here. We're going to talk about something that can be delicate, not fun to talk about, but increasingly important. School safety, more important than ever and a lot of parents trying to figure out what to do. Yeah, and there is this product that's out there. It's marketed to um, help you keep your children safe, but is it worth it? And that's why Eric Wilkinson's here to talk about it. You have a story airing tonight on our newscast, and you're here to give us a little preview of what you learned. Yeah, I am. So we're talking about bulletproof backpacks, and we went out and bought one. This is it right here. Um, it's a standard size backpack, weighs about the same. It has a little Kevlar panel in the back, and it's designed so that you can hold it up um, as a shield um, in case you're being shot at, or you could also throw it over your back like if you were running away and you were under fire. Um, they are somewhat effective, I will say that. We did put them to yeah, the test. Yeah, you put this to a test. I mean, what, what did you find out? We uh, tested three different guns on okay. this particular backpack. I will just say this, two of them worked, one of them did not, or they did not protect against one of the guns. And I can show you right here, actually, um, you can see the bullet holes that went right through the back of this Kevlar panel here. So um, somewhat uh, effective, yeah. not completely. So two out of three. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I know you've spoken with some professionals about this, and I heard you mention Kevlar, so that's something that law enforcement mm -hmm. uses. But what is law enforcement saying about the product? You know, I spoke with uh, Seattle police. I spoke with uh, teachers, administrators, and they all said the same thing. They all really kind of spoke against this. They said that they were concerned that it could provide a false sense of security for right. parents, that you put this on your kid and you figure I'm all set, Junior is going to be okay when he goes off to school. Um, but you know, this may protect one child, maybe, but it's not going to solve the problem of school shootings. So the big question, you know, is what should parents focus on to keep kids safe? That was another thing. I talked to one of the world's experts in school shootings and she said she was most concerned about parents falling with, under a false sense of security and so she said you know if you want to buy one of these for your kid they cost about 200 bucks feel free it's probably not going to hurt anything probably not going to save their life uh, with 100 percent certainty but don't don't stop being involved politically don't mm -hmm. stop calling your legislators, don't stop speaking out about mental illness, gun control, whatever you're concerned about mostly with, with school shootings, don't let this shield you from that. Right, very good. I look forward to seeing that report tonight at 10 and 11, Kong and King. Thanks, you guys. All right, thank you.